One of my students came up to me and she was like, Miss Rog, last night some man was sitting here talking about his baby mamas to me and I didn't even care. Let me tell you about it. So, you know, my kids go and get breakfast and then they come into the classroom and they eat their breakfast in here. Okay, so they get like 15, 20 minutes to eat their breakfast. We're chilling. If they don't finish, they can do it during my lesson, but just like eat breakfast if you're on time, right? So a lot of the time during that time, like people do like warm ups and stuff, but I just like to like converse with my kids. I like to hang out with my kids, talk to my kids. Okay, but sometimes my kids have a million things to say. And after a weekend, there's a lot. So somebody comes up to me and she's talking about how some guy was talking about his baby mamas. And I'm not even sure I was going to go along with that story. I was going to be like, that's kind of nice. Okay, sorry you had to deal with that. That was going to kind of be my ending, but they were like, nope, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story even though you didn't ask for it. So they were like, I was going to the store with my mom's, right? And we were sitting there. We were trying to find me some clothes. And so I was looking through everything and then I had to try stuff on, Miss Drog, okay? So I had a whole bunch of clothes I had to try on, right? And so I'm going up to this man and I'm like, hey, I need to try this stuff on. Apparently getting a place where she could try her stuff on was not dealt in the cards for her because he looked at her and he was like, mm, little Miss Ma'am, um, I have five kids by three baby mamas. I could look at a child and tell you their size without even them trying it on. Those are going to fit you. And she was like, Mr. Rock, you should have seen my face. Like, I still want to try them on. So why do I have to know about your baby mamas? What does that have to do with me? I'm not your five kids. Let me try my stuff on. And she's like, you know what? Him and my mama were talking. And I was I was trying to mind a, a child's place, Miss Rog. So I was sitting there. I didn't want to get in trouble. So I was just minding my business, waiting to see if I could try them on. And guess what, Miss Rog? Guess what happened in the end? I tried my stuff on. And guess what? That man was wrong. They didn't fit. You don't even know your kid's sizes? Five kids, three baby mamas, but you don't know sizes because that stuff didn't fit me, Miss Rog. But I wasn't going to say anything because I think my mama would have got mad and, you know, I was just trying to mind my business. But wrong. He was wrong. That's why you don't trust men, Miss Rog. Five kids don't know nothing about sizes. I mean, at that point, I didn't really know what to say. I was just like, amen. You know what I mean? I don't know. The thing is, though, she wasn't done talking. She had a whole new story about how she plumped up her lips over the weekend. That one's coming next. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>